dark hold of a ship. Tessa sits across from a waking sailor bound to a chair. Oh, good, you're awake. I was afraid I wouldn't be the one to do the honors. It's not often these days that I get the pleasure of dispensing a lady's sting. Right now, you're asking yourself, why in the hells the Hurricane Queen herself is talking to you in the hold of her own ship? And that's a great question. You, my good lad, have answers for me. You see, my man was the one who seduced you. Yeah, that one. One, he's mine. And it looks like you, handsome, are working for Lupus Gallo. And we don't like chelish scum on our shores, especially those working for the eternally damned hellhound. So my question is, why are you here? Oh, are you parched? Let me get you a glass of wine. Tessa pours the sailor a glass of wine. There you go. Twink up and quench that dry mouth. This reminds me of my favorite passage from Blood for Wine. I know it's not the official holy text, but it adds a bit of variety. Everyone loves variety. The poem reads, In the pallid light of languishing lamps, in deep cushions redolent of perfume, Unquenched fire of your lips, dreams of the potent caresses, wrath wrapped in soft, deceitful wiles. Dread poisons, but more dread the poisoned well of thy green eyes accursed, taunts where I watch my trembling soul, reversed my dreams innumerable, throng to those bitter gulfs to slake their thirst. <laughs> what? Do you think a half-elf who grew up in the pleasure salon of Calistria would forget where she came from? I am very happy with all of my ladies. Now, since you are in the hell I made... <laughs> and not any of your own kind. And as you start to feel that fire course through your veins, do you have anything to tell me? This is Jason. How's it going? <laughs> Hi, Jason. No. It's me, Batman. <laughs> Love the new scream. Phone. I'm Batman. <laughs> Where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Rachel's like, nope. <laughs> Where is she? I, whenever oh, I lose my now. voice to seasonal allergies, it always sounds like a Batman. <laughs> it's so funny. I had a kid read an entire story to me the other day in a voice very akin to that. Uh, <laughs> it was very distracting. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 14 of season two. Woohoo! We, Woo! Has Alba made it this far? Yeah. Yeah. Is this your longest living character yet? No. Uh, Rizzer, Rizzer survived a bit longer. I just had it up, too. I just oh, did the... I still have access to it. Here, I just did the recap of book one. 
Let's see here. What episode was Requiem? I'm going to guess 28. Requiem was episode 36. I was Yay. wrong. Okay, so... So we got to keep it alive. I got, some, alive to I got some time. Yeah. Yeah. Going for a new record. Yeah, we got to go yeah. for a new record. Maybe Zabo so. will survive a whole book. I've never had a character do that before. Ooh, hey. <laughs> Life goals. Life goals. Bucket list. <laughs> yeah. The only problem with characters surviving is I like having so many... I like making new characters, but I like Zaba. I like Bucket Zaba list is, a lot. It's a good movie. I haven't seen Bucket List, but I think um, Jackson had a banter topic. Oh, yeah. I was. Uh, we were talking about scary movies and trying to find out what everybody's favorite scary movie was. And uh, the first so movie... Got a- we got a we got a movie question from the person who's seen the least movies out of all of us. Listen, I'm always looking for options to watch more movies. <laughs> really? <laughs> hmm, it's on record. Really? <laughs> oh, really? You are? Uh huh. <laughs> that that yeah. really said everything you needed uh-huh. to know. <laughs> it's on the record now. It's on the record now, Lunar. <laughs> Yeah, we Jackson, now this is blackmail material, babe. I'm going to make you watch so many movies, and that's your fault. I legitimately we have it both digitally out from laughing. <laughs> we've got it in here, and then I also have it locally recorded in case this somehow magically gets corrupted. Oh, perfect. So you're good. Oh, perfect. I can't wait to use this when you'll be like, I don't want to watch a movie tonight. I'll pull this out as like a, re- like a reference of like, Yes, you are. You're watching a movie. Music. <laughs> really, just, have to twist your arm. We just we just had to fast forward through the Batman jokes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, my my favorite horror movie is Hereditary. That is a really that's, good movie. That's a good one. That's oh, a good it's pick. So yeah. Good. It's very spooky. It's a very good one. We got to watch that actually with one of our movie buff friends, Ashton, and all of the like all of our friends. Do you remember that, Jackson? Yeah, he a- he actually was the one that insisted that this was the movie we watched. Yes, especially because he told you no information about it beforehand. I knew only slightly, but I did not know uh, the twist that they had in this film. If you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it too. One, I was about to say, don't spoil it. Yeah, no, no, obviously, obviously not. We want to keep up the things. I will recommend another Ari Aster film for my personal favorite because of how fucked up it is, is Midsommar. Because I have not seen a horror movie effectively pull off being in broad daylight better than this film. And I'm just gonna also pass a quick aside to people who've not heard this movie before. Hey, maybe don't watch it with your parents (laughs) and have no idea that certain scenes are gonna happen in it. Cause we didn't know. And we were all very uncomfortable. Yeah, the, even the opening to that movie is just oh, it's fucking so twisted. fucked, but it's really good. Also, another good recommendation that is not a part of Ari Aster, but I really like a lot. Get Out. Get Out's fantastic. Get Out's really good. I liked it more than Us. Oh, Us was good though too. I liked that. I've been. I want to see Nope with Jackson. I think he would like that. Potentially. Nope. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> now I gotta make him. I'm I'm a movie nerd, so I'll go last. I don't watch scary movies generally. I've seen Get Out. Is there a difference between horror and thriller? Ah, uh, I feel like people say there is, but I don't know because I don't like, you know, real titles of things. That's fair. A lot of comedy horrors are actually pretty good too. Ready or Not's a good example, I think, of that. That's a great film. Ready or Not's great. Cabin in the Woods? Yeah, Cabin in the Woods is a classic. Hey, Jackson, you taking I... notes? <laughs> <laughs> Out of every single movie that has been listed so far, the only one that I've seen is the one that I said. I know. Wow. I've only heard I... seen one as well. <laughs> I don't watch many horror movies anymore. I, I watch a ton of them in my like childhood and by childhood I mean like seven eight years old all the way through my teens but I found that they've just reached such a point of repetitivity 
that I can generally see what's about to happen an hour before to the degree it, uh, I just find it less enjoyable. That being said, uh, when the season is right, I do, I do enjoy good comedy horror, such as Tucker and Dale versus Pure Evil. Yeah, those are good. It's one that I can always recommend, <laughs> even though it's, it's very light on the horror side. Cabin in the Woods is great. I'm trying to remember the name. I watched a Korean horror movie in 2013 or 2014 that I can't remember the name of, but it sticks with me to this day as being phenomenal. Is and it that's about Bus- all I can remember. Is it Train no. to Busan? No, okay. Well, no, I it's, don't think that was that old. Yeah, at this moment, I can barely even remember the plot. I just remember enjoying it, which makes it really tricky to try and get pointers on which one it may be. Yeah. It'll come to me at 3 a.m. And you'll wake up and then type in the crew chat. Yeah. Drop an IMD, IMDB link. It was this one. <laughs> there you go. I found it posted at 4.33 in the morning. See it at 4.30. <laughs> For me, I'm a movie nerd, and I'm actually doing the 31-day October horror movie challenge. Ooh, I didn't know that this was a thing. Yeah, so it was an Instagram thing where they they post a prompt for each day in October, and you're supposed to watch a movie based off of that prompt. Oh, that's cute. And so the first was Trapped, and I watched the movie Buried with Ryan Reynolds. Ooh. Okay. And as somebody who's claustrophobic, that, that really fucks with me. Yeah, I would say so. And um, the second was in a cornfield. I watched Pearl. Oh, I thought you would have watched like Children of the Corn or something like that. No, I watched Science. Pearl because of what she does to the to the scarecrow in the cornfield. Oh, yeah. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> then the fourth, I watched. Uh, it was Jamie Lee Curtis was the prompt to watch Halloween. Nice, Avi. Oh, that was the third. Sorry, oh. the third. The fourth is set in space. I did Alien. Nice. The sixth is Schoolhouse Screams. And I did a new comedy horror called Ooh. Tragedy Girls. Oh, I've not heard of that. That one was pretty good. And then um, the seventh I did was J-Horror. But I couldn't find a good J-Horror movie I wanted to watch. So I did a K-Horror instead. And I watched The Wailing. Oh, I've not heard of that one either. I need to look into some of these ones. And then the the uh, seventh, wa- it was yesterday. I watched the prompt was Rob Zombie. I did the Haunted World of El Superbisto. Nice. Which is just an animated horror comedy, more comedy than horror, really. And then today was meta horror, and I watched Totally Killer, another horror comedy. That one was fun. Totally Killer. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Out of every single movie that has been listed today, I have only seen Hereditary. You haven't it, seen Alien? It makes I have me not. sad. Jackson, when you say these words, it like hurts me. It hurts me. <laughs> no, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> You're not metaphor- metaphorical. I'm the cleric. I'm not supposed to harm. <laughs> it takes psychic damage, as you say. Yeah, I haven't seen Halloween. <laughs> I haven't I seen haven't. that either. That's... Rachel, you're fine. It's my boyfriend that I'm worried about. Uh-huh. It's a free pass for me. Films. Yeah, you got a, you get a free pass. I can I can poke fun at my boyfriend for well, not seeing I, movies. I have seen one obscure horror movie, and that uh-huh. would be Cube. Oh, that's a good one. It's really good. That one freaked me out. <laughs> that one freaked you out? It was. Yeah. There was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to be careful with what movies that I have to watch with Jackson because I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, okay, hospital settings, Jackson hates in yeah. any horror film. So I'm like, we can't see some of the newer Halloweens because they do take place in hospitals. Yeah. yeah. And you're squeamish around some gore. So a lot of more gory films we can't watch. Yeah. And that's my other aversion to... I don't know if it's still this way, but there was a period of time where horror movies were essentially just gore and violence. Oh, like That's the not, Saw and, films now. And I, I've witnessed that enough of that that I don't need to sit no. here and watch it in a movie generally. That's That that trend has gone away. Yeah. That's good. Ari Aster movies are, and like, the more, um, 
artsy horror is kind of taken taken shine. Which is good. Get in yeah. my head. Make me question reality. Oh, dude. I, I easy. love the fucking rise of the independent film fest movies. Same. Uh, dude, becoming Ari Aster. Phenomenal. Ari, Ari Aster, I wish to, like, uh, like, I want to meet this dude so I can be like, all right, I want to know how you write these films because they're genuinely you, great. Have you seen his short film, There's Something About the Johnsons? No, what? I didn't know he had a short film. I got to watch it now. All right, thank you. Yeah, make sure you're in a good headspace when you watch that one. It's fucked up. Let's go. All right. All right. Speaking of being in good headspaces, last episode, <laughs> that is, last episode, Vesuviak was not in the best headspace because he couldn't make a damn medicine check to save his life. He healed the rest of us. Yeah. That's what that's matters. True. True. Listen... <laughs> it may not have been only Vesuviac's body that was harmed that day. His pride was also injured, too. <laughs> yeah, the, the combat was trivial. It was just, like, a couple of tar hounds that really nothing was going to... Some puppies. Yeah. That, that, that was not going to pose any threat whatsoever. Yeah. But you found the kid's parents. Oh, thank God. I'm so yeah. glad Timothy wasn't lying. That was really great. Yeah, wasn't lying. See, I just <laughs> knew. I unlocked all of my chakras to be like, hey, parents are alive, actually. You got so lucky fine. with that. I did. Out. Unlock the life gate. I unlocked life gate. And I, and I <laughs> butterfly affect the parents being okay. <laughs> yep, it was. And you made it back to the to the council who well you, you got rewarded first yeah we got quiches quiches and, and flowers <laughs> and a and a butcher knife yes that is, that effectively counts as a let me pull it up here i believe it is a plus one striking hatchet Ooh. so who wants a plus one striking hatchet well if nobody else is going to speak up Zob will take it. Honestly, it might be best for you to have it because that way you have a magic weapon to hit. I think oh, well, already has magic. Got, magic. I already have three magic oh. weapons. Zob is oh. just a hoarder. He likes sharp and pointy has things. Magic weapons. Pack rat, pack rat, pack rat. We're fine with you carrying all of our heavy stuff. Yeah. Cool. A uh, hatchet's not heavy. <laughs> but in combination with all the other stuff. Yeah. I might want to throw it at something someday. <laughs> <laughs> Put, put one of the funny thunder lilies on it and put it on a rope and just cast it out to the sea and see what happens. I should probably prepare my spells. I should do that before we yeah, get Yeah, I, I guess Lunar might want to prepare her apparitions. Oh, yeah. What apparitions do you want? I'm going to stick with the three that I have. Yes. Makes sense. Makes sense where you're at. Yeah, mostly because that's what Timothy is thinking of right now at this moment in time. It's just basically which one do you want to make your primary? To, yeah. Because that impacts your spells. Oh, that's true. Shit, Scoop. I mean, it, I think the primary has to be, unfortunately, the Dark Star because it's had, it's got tenured here. It has, it has a timeshare in Timothy's body, so it gets primary. All right. That's at least my, where my head's at. But you make it to the. To the Briar Grove. So you got that going for you. Yeah, and we got another side quest from the council because we haven't done enough for them. True. <laughs> and who wants to carry the pastries? The quiches? <laughs> the quiches. Or should we throw that in the loot? We could. Uh, did you say they were al alchemical? Like yes, they do something? Yes. So they count as serene mutagens when you eat them. And I will put, throw those into the party stash. So you, when you eat it, you gain a plus one, a plus two bonus to your will saves, perception checks, medicine checks, nature checks, religion checks, and survival checks. Those sound like and, great but you take a drawback. Bonus. The drawback is a minus one penalty to attack rolls 
and save DCs for offensive spells, and a minus one penalty per damage die to all weapon, unarmed, and spell damage. It's a double-edged sword, but pretty cool. Yeah. Zubiak, you want those? The medicine seems like the potentially yeah. most useful part of that. Yeah, yeah I'll take them. I don't know why. It also made me laugh when I looked at Foundry and I see that Zappa now has six magic weapons. <laughs> it just made me laugh seeing that pop up. It's a fact. <laughs> Zappa's packing heat. <laughs> gotta be ready for anything. You gotta be ready for anything. And that includes six magic weapons from a frog demon. <laughs> All right. Shall we, shall we mosey onward? Let's mosey yeah. onward. Yeah, I'm still finalizing Do some spells. Do we want to we oh, pick yeah. up a couple potions before we leave town? Like healing potions for emergencies? Oh, yeah. Would that would not actually, be a bad idea. That might be a really good idea now that we're saying that out loud. Uh, I'm down to zero. You're down to zero? Oh, shit. Uh, I do I... have one. Be nice to get one in everyone's pocket, I would yeah, think. Yeah, I currently got one elixir of life, a minor one, but hate something at least. Yeah, we can see if the council wants to, you know, give us something. Yeah. Since, you know, we did their chores. We're gonna get their stupid berries. I, I really don't understand why they need berries. I mean, I get it. They're gourmet people. Like, probably these berries are gonna be used to, like, top some sort of cake. Or be used as like a ganache or something fucking crazy. All right, my spell pre- my spell prep is done. We're good. <clears throat> oh, nice. Okay, so you want me to go first? Oh yeah. Are we able to uh, either blackmail the council into giving us a couple potions, or? Well, that's I was gonna say is if that's what you want to do, go ahead and make me some. Whoever's talking, make me a secret diplomacy check. So Timothy and I did those as two separate checks. We weren't aiding each other. Yep. Yeah. Which I I prefer that. Yeah. yeah one of yeah. us is going to get a positive, one of us is going to negative. They're going to cancel each other out. And they're going to be like, sorry, you both suck. That's why we took them aside. We were on That's two separate true. sides of the room. Yeah. S- separate conversations. You're right, you're right, you're right. How smart of you. <laughs> yeah, of course, some people in my back. time. Great pathfinder, unfortunately. Yeah, so I think you could be able to go ahead and, with those rolls, talk the council into giving you a couple of elixirs of life. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, Yeah, we're looking for a little bit of a little bit of health. It would help us out a lot. So, especially to make sure that your berries come back Mm -hmm. and we don't get killed trying to bring them back. Perfect. What level of elixir of life? Mm, let me double check. Elixir of life. Lesser. I will take at least one. something. You can get, yeah, you'll get two of those. Two of us each or just two? Just two. I took one. I don't know who Timothy wants to get his to. Timothy looks to Vesuviak and then looks to Zaba. Uh, and I think he's going to toss the extra potion to Zaba or the potion to Zaba. And he says, since, you know, you may need healing when Vesuviak's not exactly right next to you. It is uh, better this way than other ways. Thank you. I make sure to make sure nobody dies if it comes down to this. Hey, that's what I appreciate. Vesuvia kind of frowns and looks at Zaba and goes, you know, if you go down, I am going to have to, like, medically treat you, right? Yeah, well, just make it quick. Well, I can't see you can't hurt me, I guess. That's how it works. (laughs) I think Vesuvia is like... I guess I'm saying if I am dying on the ground, I give you consent to perform healing medical aid. The Suviac just kind of gives an exasperated sigh, and he, he wants to ask why, but figures that it's probably not a good time right now. You can ask where we're going. That's true. Zaba's not going to tell you. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. He'll dodge around it in every way he can. <laughs> Zig while you zag. All right. If you pizza, we 
when you should have french fried, <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> All right. Yeehaw. We got potions. You got some potions? Yeah. Motion. <laughs> Motion. And you are at the edge of the Briar Grove. Yippee. So you notice a bunch of trees and undergrowth have basically cloaked this area in shadow. Um, there's a break in the thorny undergrowth that could almost that would almost be impossible to find had it not been for the council's map. But it leads to a clear path about 10 feet wide that plunges south through a thorny forest. Oh, boy. This bodes well. Let me take a quick look here at something. Pup, 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 pup. Uh, Sil, Zaba, and Vesuviak. The three of you realized, realize that the break in these th in this thorny undergrowth, it's only recently been widened. Likely by somebody who has passed through here. I think Vesuviak's going to draw his scimitar and he's gonna kind of use it as a, uh, like a machete to help chop through the undergrowth if needed. But he's definitely a bit wary and is happy to have a weapon in his hand in case they run into this uh, person who got ahead of them. Are any of you good at, like, tracking? Can you tell what kind of thing went through here? I, Shit. I could give it a shot. I mean, I actually be, might be pretty good. Would that be nature or survival for this one? Tracking? Yeah. It'd be survival. Okay. I'll go ahead and give it a shot. See if it was Secret? nature, I could have done it. Yes. What you notice is that the there's not a whole lot you can tell other than what I just told you. That the 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 undergrowth is too thick and you can't you don't have there's not a there's not enough material or the right consistency there to really be able to tell who is tracking what. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't quite tell. Can't okay. get footprints on root bed. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. Well, uh, so we know there's somebody ahead of us. Do you want me to go <clears> first? <throat> you know, be sneaky, or you want to go ahead and find out? So. I mean, I can, I can go take a peek. Just, yeah, you know, do, do you want to do some ex give me some exploration activities? Yeah, I can scout ahead stealthily. Yeah, you should. So, you all should be able to add that to your character sheets on the exploration tab. So, in the actions, there is oh, yeah, exploration. Yes, so you should be able to browse your different exploration activities. Yeah. And uh, click and drag whatever one you want to be doing. Oh. We've got so many. I didn't know we had this many. Neat. So, so just go ahead and just pick. takes the defend roll. Yeah, I mean, that gives you um, a sheet, but it gives you an action to put up the shield. Yeah, he's not going to, but it's the most suiting thing. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep detecting magic. Yeah, just make sure you drag that onto your character sheet and have that active. Yep, it's active. Let me Perfect. see. Perfect. So you can't scout and be stealthing? No. Okay. But I could stealth and just use normal You could perception. avoid notice. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing that one. Because mm -hmm. that, that lets you start with... Uh, Stealth as yeah. your initiative. I'm trying to figure out which one works or would be the best for this scenario. So there's so many things I can fucking do. God damn. Scouting is usually good. Fuck. There's so many options. I got a little overwhelmed. I am so sorry. Searching yeah. is also really good. I think actually searching might be what Timothy does. 
Cause I, I feel like that makes sense. So hold on. Search. I'm trying to drag that. Sorry. There we go. All right. And just make it active. Yes. Perfect. Actually, I just realized this tech magic require me to have that spell active. Yes. Oh, sure it does. I unprepared it, so never mind. I'm not detecting magic. I'm just gonna go ahead and defend. Ba 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 ba. All right. So you you moving on forward? Let's let's do it. Timothy. Yeah. As you are moving on forward, you stop and pause because oh. you think. No, you don't think. You know. You heard some throaty growls coming from the south. Timothy, like, when he stops, he actually, like, holds a hand out and he, like, I guess, like, makes a motion to his lips, like, to put, like, a finger over. It's like, I think I heard something. It it sounded like growls. And he points to the general direction where he heard it, uh, coming from that direction, the south. Okay, it sounds like I'm up. Yeah, Zabo proceed forwards stealthily. Quietly. Like a mouse. Like a big frog mouse. Shit. I should follow after. Maybe give him a minute. To yeah. Empty. He's mm. very quiet. I can go with him, though. Yeah. I am attempting so... to follow Zaba, but I can't seem to move my token. Yeah, oh, because you paused it. I didn't notice. All right. So, Zaba, you managed to sneak your way across the... So you wouldn't be defending anymore. You'd no, be, I'm You'd just be avoiding sneaking. notice. Cool. I can flip that. Uh, what you notice, then, is that you s in the clearing, you see what looks like an Orpok that is bloodied and bruised. You also see two creatures. The first one is this creature right here. Whoa, whoa. That's your favorite thing. Oh, boy, yep. my uh, my nightmare. Oh, it seems gosh. like a leshy in infested with a beehive. I'm going to split it in twain. And hey. then the other creature that you see is this thing. Oh. Oh, it's a horny beaver. Oh, all right. <laughs> he'd, he'd be cute if he wasn't holding what appears to be a human foot in his hand. Yeah. And based on scale, he's pretty big. Or that's a child's foot. But Oh, that's way worse. I mean, even if it was a child's foot, that would be big for a beaver. It's a big <laughs> beaver. Big beaver. It, it's, it is a big beaver. It's a medium-sized beaver. Oh, it's a big beaver. This is not going to go well for me. I have a bad phobia of bees. Oh, the Luckily, these ones aren't real. Yeah. <laughs> the the um the plant honeycomb uh, beehive thing is thirty feet up in the air. What the fuck? That's this this thing right. Yeah, that's thirty feet up in the air. Dang. And um, they don't appear to notice any of you. Uh, yeah, none of them notice you, Zaba. Okay. Uh, I'll just kind of lean back with one hand and try and wave Sil forwards. All right. I will relay the message and then sneak forwards to Give me, Give Zaba. me that stealth, the yep. secret stealth check. I, secret. I'll follow suit after a second. I'll wait a second and then I'll come after. Okay. I don't have great stealth, but I um... also don't notice you. Okay. All right. I'm Whoop, gonna. Me do the yeah, other. As Timothy is like a little bit, like twenty feet away, I'll hold up a hand to keep you from getting too, too close. Yeah. Here, I'll back up that way. Let me roll yeah. that secret stealth. The see if the axe is gonna stay at the mouth of the path that has been open and keep an eye on Timothy and wait for Timothy's signal to advance forward. Well. <laughs> Timothy seems to step on a branch and snap. Uh, didn't stop you soon enough. And immediately, enough. the beaver turns to look and notices Zaba. And that's when we are going to enter combat. Oh, I'm Ooh. far from y'all. This ain't good. 
It's fine. okay. We'll be fine. So as I was sneaking, I am uh, unfortunately forced to use stealth for initiative, correct? Yes. Oh! Yep. Oh. oh, that sucks. I need to privately roll that. It's a public roll for mine. Hey, I got another We're all office. doing great on initiative. Dude, Zava, we're twinsies! I rolled so bad. Shut up! On, that's a big old three on initiative for me. Plus eight. For eleven. Alright. And the forager looks right at Zava. He's like, are, are you here to help? Please. Please. I, this, this, this thing. And it points to the beaver looking creature. It's, a, it's after me. And we will begin the encounter. Bum, bum, bum. Uh -huh. ba da 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 Bum, bum. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Beaver. And what you notice is that, again, you see that you see an Orpok who is bloodied, bruised, and he looks like, uh, let's see here. Give me a second. He looks like he's pinned beneath a really heavy branch right now that he cannot get himself out of now <clears throat> the beaver looks is making its way towards this orpok while the plant fey creature up in the air is looking down almost like perplexed as to what the hell is going on so the beaver gets to go and it looks at the orpok and it looks at zaba and it's almost like making the decision. And it's like, okay. And we'll stride over to towards Zaba. And oh, one more square, one more square right there. And we'll target the, the large demon creature. Demon. Demon creature. <laughs> and well, it like <laughs> and hawks up a loogie and spits Eww. it right at Zaba. Ew, dude, grody. And that, and you just get hit by the splat of spit. Eww. For third. Teen acid damage. Pros. Cool. And you. for its third and final action, it will do the same thing. Attempt to do the same thing. <laughs> With a nine on the die, that is going to be a miss. That's good. Nice. And we go to Vesuviac. Vesuviac here's a fight breakout. Vesuviac is wanting to go as fast as he can up. Uh, he's going to move 50 feet down this uh, briar pathway and end right behind Zaba. Uh, that was all three of his actions to get behind Zaba, but he is now within distance of the damage dealer in case something bad happens, because it seems like it might. <laughs> Absolutely. Next, we turn to Cell. Yeah. So I will drop into my stance, move up a little bit and then I guess just throw a card because there's no point in running up next to something when I can't hit it yet. True and real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 12 on the die is a hit. All right. Even with that range penalty. Some little damage. Six. It'll take six damage. Nice! Look at you go! Yeah, very useful. Hell yeah. Listen, that's nothing to, nothing to sneeze over. And we turn to Timothy. It's me! Oh boy! Or Zaba. Who wants to go first? Between I, you two. I think Zaba should go first. 
Zaba would love to go first. Go first then, Zaba. Go All before right. me. Make my life easier. I think I shall. Nice. All right. Let's do some math. Do some math. Quick math. All right. I'm just going to keep it simple. Zaba's just going to stride forwards his full movement of uh, 25 feet. Hey. Okay. And chop wood. Chuck. How much could a wood chuck? If a wood could, wood chuck could chuck wood. Holy shit, Zaba. That's a 19 shit. on the die for a 30. That's a critical hit. Holy oh my god. This is Hell good. Yes. Zaba makes this thing explode. <laughs> uh, I chop it for 30 points of slashing damage. All right. It takes that. It takes that damage. Cool. I try and finish the job, as Zaba loves to do. That's a 15 on the die. That's still a hit. That's AC 21. Damn. See, this is how you're supposed to work, Zaba. And that's Ooh. another 16 points of slashing damage. It'll take that 16 points. God cool. Damn. And that is Zamba's Zamba. That yes. is Zaba's turn. <laughs> Zaba's gonna wear Zubas. Dude! Fun, fun Zubas there you go. This turn. Oompa, oompa. That is that is some art I wanna see now. <laughs> Zaba wearing Zubas. <laughs> Zaba acquires drip. In, fun fact, in, the, in a uh, Zumba class. Oh my god, yes. Alright, so crazy. let's see. I probably wanna move, because I'm probably pretty far away from well hold on, I'm probably pretty far away from this thing. I guess I'm here. Don't forget yeah. you can hover over the token. Oh my god, you're right. Duh, idiot. I forgot. Oh, <laughs> a winner is me. Uh, all right. That's 55 feet away from me. Mm. I can see this beaver. And I see that it's it's been attacking my good friend Zaba. Who you can't see anymore. Yeah, I can't see anymore. So I'm like, hmm, that's not good. I... Ooh... No, I can't do that spell. And that's too far away. Okay, so then I'm gonna cast... Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna move up just a little bit, because I think that's a good idea. So that will be my first action. Be right next to my boy, uh, Vesuviak. Hey, how's it going? And then I'm gonna look at this fucking beaver, and I'm gonna cast Daze to it. Dazzling. Um, razzle dazzle, baby. Make that will save. Four on the die for a failure. Fuck yeah. Take all four of that damage. Yeah. And no, I don't get any fun thing if it's crit. If it, it's a critical failure, then it gets yeah. stunned, but it's not. So, bing bong. There you go. And that's all the end of Timothy's turn. All right, the beaver creature's gonna go. The beaver's got psychic damage done to it. <laughs> and the beaver creature is going to target Zaba and going to attempt to whack Zaba with its tail. Totally reasonable. Understandable. Have a nice day. Hey, and that's a hit. Wow. I get and it. And it's going to whack you for 17 bludgeoning damage. That's a hard tail. And then it'll spend its second action to knock you down. Monster's last action was a success uh, with a strike that lists the knockdown in, in its damage entry, which this did. You are, Zaba is now prone. Uh oh. That's not good. Nox prone with as many hit points as Sil has. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What was me? All right, and for its third and final action, it'll once more attempt to whack you with its tail. That's a 19 on the die. That's a hit. Well, now, this wasn't a crit. The, the, here's the thing. Its tail has the concussive slap trait. Uh, hmm, of course it does. You must make a fortitude save. Make that fortitude save, bud. 
No problem. You got this. And that's we'll six. Yeah. So you only take an additional 1d6 damage. So you'll take... You'll take 14 bludgeoning damage, plus an additional one bludgeoning damage. All of 15. Ooh. Whatever will you do? As its tail slaps you right down into the into the ground. But you're just way too big. And that big. can't quite slap you down hard enough like it wanted. You're too big. Just way too big. <laughs> way too big, bud. All right, Vesuviak. We will, we will, we will. Here comes the medic. <laughs> I'm going to move up next to Syl, just so that way I can see a little bit more of the battlefield and uh, get within healing distance of Zaba as I'm going to burn one of my heal spells uh, using my last two actions of my turn. Oh, good. Oh, good. Y y you have a healer with you. <laughs> two action heal versus living. Heal. 26. Wow. Good lord. Fucking hell, dude. Thank you. I always forget that I get to add big numbers to my rolls. <laughs> oh, baby big numbers. All right. Well, the um, the tree person thing will start making their way down towards the Warpock. Uh-oh. All right. As it starts climbing its way down. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> it's not great. That's not good. Oh, boy. All right. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. And you see it start. You see it get down, to, get down on the ground and start trying to lift that heavy branch off of the Orpok. And we will go to Sill. Oh, so it's helping. Potentially. I no. will. Maybe. Yeah. I think that Zaba can take care of this beaver. I will use two actions to run past Zaba and the beaver so that I am next to the Orpok and the Leshy thing. Leshy like thing. And kind of, you know, glance at this thing, see if it looks evil but mostly just start helping this Orpok get out. You want to do a recall knowledge? No, I want to use my third action just to lift branch or pull Orpok out if the branch is already lifted. Yeah, so uh, you would need to make an athletics check. Okay. And since that the one creature is attempting to help, you would need to make that DC. Oh, shit. Oh, so yeah, super that's a success. Strong. That's one success. Okay, we're doing Perfect. it. All right, Zaba, your turn. I think it's pretty safe to presume what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> oh, all right, hold on one second. Because as you stand up, it's going to use a reaction. Tail swipe. I hate this beaver. I hate this beaver. <laughs> It gets, to make, <laughs> it gets to make a tail strike against the triggering creature. And if it's a critical hit, your stand-up action is disrupted. Oh, lame. Just, just hit me with it. It's fine. Oh. Oh. It's, it's a hit, but it's not a crit. So you get to stand. Am I still you... off guard while standing? No, you, no, because this is happening okay, then, during... Then it's a miss, because my AC is 21 when I'm upright. You're not. No, I'm saying you, you would you would be off guard because okay. your tr your standing is the trigger. Yeah, you trying to stand up is the trigger, so it's still technically off guard. Yep. Is it of my level or lower? Oh, it's not a surprise attack. Doesn't matter. So you you will take eleven. Oh well, hold on, hold on. Scratch that. Delete that. Erase that. Oh. That is that is the wrong damage. <laughs> oh yeah, you spit acid at me. Yeah, <laughs> that is the wrong damage. I need to do this damage. Is, okay, there it is. Okay, 15 damage. There. And you can stand up. I'll remove that condition for you. Congratulations. Cool. Now I'm going to kill this beaver. <laughs> kill the beaver, kill the beaver. 
First hit, it's a that's a 10 on the die for a 21. That is a hit. Four. I rolled 10 damage. One and a five on D12s. All right. You got one more strike in ya? Oh, yes. Can't leave this thing alive. Yeah, it would be awful. Uh, that's oh. another one. Never mind, I'm gonna leave it alive. Yikes, a Rooney, my guy. Well, Timothy might be able to finish it. I might be able to finish it. Give me a minute here. Uh, I gotta move up. I'm gonna move up to 25. Oop, hold up. Sorry. Give me a second here. Uh, I hate how Ten. my thing is wanting to like move around. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to get back to where I'm supposed to be. I'm so sorry. Uh, I so just. That's ten. Yes, that's five ten. Twelve. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. Twenty. Well, Twenty-five. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. There you go. My my mouse decided it wanted to fight me right now. Uh, now that I see this thing, I'm a little bit closer to it. Ha ha ha. Uh, I'm gonna do a spell. Everyone, watch out. I'm doing spells. I wish I was closer to it. Unfortunately, not. I'm gonna do a torturous trauma to this sucker. Uh oh. Watch out, sucker. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to target Zaba. No, I'm not targeting Zaba. Why did I say? Weird. Anyways, you gotta make that fortitude save. Oh, fuck. Oh, it succeeded. Lame. Okay, so half damage. Ooh, that's good damage though. Ooh, that was eleven damage. Look at me. Ooh, still not quite down. Lame. Yeah, that's all Timothy does, and yeah, that's all Timothy does. He just looks at this beaver and. <laughs> It takes some ouchy damage in, in its gut work. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Okay. The beaver, not liking its predicament and the situation that it's in, is going to attempt to run away. <gasps> oh. Holy shit. And we will turn to Vesuviak. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> does the Leshy look hostile? Like, does it look like it's getting ready to attack? It looks like it's lifting up the branch, the heavy branch. I am going to delay my action. And I want to see how this whole thing plays out with Syl and the uh, Torpok and the Lashy. Okay. Syl? Yep. Continue to try to get this guy out, I guess. Alright, you got one more you got one more athletics check in ya? This will work great. Whoa! Hey, hey! That's a 20. I'm doing some deadlifts, I guess. Dude. Yeah, no, no kidding. Syl's been working out. You manage to lift up the heavy branch and free the Orpok. It's like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. He looks right at Syl and at the at the creature. Uh, yeah. You might want to wait a minute because the that thing just, you know, went down the exit. But I'm sure Zaba's gonna kill it. And then I. I don't know. I mean, I have two actions, but there's no way I can chase this thing down. So I'll, I'll you know, just start talking to this fleshy thing. Hi. Thanks for helping. And you just hear buzzing. Yeah, I'm just burning two actions. Go, Zaba, go. Go, Zaba, go. Go, Zaba, go. Zaba's gonna go. So I'll take my first action just to get a nice clean line on this guy. Moving back into the corridor we came in, seeing him fleeing like the coward he is. And then I'm gonna use Sudden Charge to move right up on him. Oh, and Sudden smack Charge, him. hold on. Sudden Charge is an open. It, uh, it only works if I haven't used an attack or open trait yet this turn, <clears throat> so it's good. Oh yeah, yeah, you're you're good. Okay, I, great. I, yep. I was doing the doing the math to make sure it was going to be all good. Excellent. 
Go Zaba, go! That'll be uh, 12 a on the die for 23 total. Can I kill this beaver? Ooh, bad damage. 10 total slashing. Not quite. <laughs> ah, that's Quick. all I got. Quick, right. get mad. I'd like to Timothy. take the delayed action oh. right now if I can. Vesuviac's going to go. All right. All right. I am going to stride 40 feet to get up to the fallen Orpok. And I'm going to go ahead and do uh, battle medicine treat wounds on him. Okay. Great. Nice. Look at you go. Oh. Oh my god. This man <laughs> has never <laughs> felt better. <laughs> that was a critical success. I healed him for 35. His arthritis is gone. <laughs> if that was the leg that the beaver was chewing on, it grew back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Timothy, you're up. Oh boy. Timothy is. Hmm, all right. Timothy wants. Timothy's looking at what's happening here, and Timothy's like, I should help out Zaba. Okay. It's only 45 feet away from me, so I can see about doing Dave's or Torturous Trauma to it again. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm attacking this beaver again with Torturous Trauma. Get injured on the inside. Have ouchies on the inside, beaver. 16 on the die is well, a critical success. Fuck you. Fuck you, actually. That means that it doesn't take damage. <laughs> it doesn't take any. You got one action left. Uh, action is just a standard. Uh, <laughs> no, I... Mm, actually, you know what? I do want to do a recall of knowledge. Like, Timothy's like, all right, you know what? Zob's not going to let that beaver go. It's fine. Whatever. Timothy's going to turn to look to the Leshy, as it's been called because okay. I've not heard that before. Can I do a recall knowledge on the fleshy? Sure. Go ahead and make a, a nature check. Okay. I'm good at nature, actually. Surprise, surprise, S gang. S secret, secret, secret. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> oh, no. Hell yeah. That's a good, that's a good one. All okay. right. That is a success. Sick. So you know this thing as an eco. Eco. Okay. Ecos are squat living bushes that grow around primordial golden beehives Ooh. from the Fey realm. Many mistake the plant matter itself for the eco, but the honeycomb heart and its constituent bees are the real animating force of this Fey creature. So Ecos are chaotic good, Fey, and plant creatures. Ecos prefer to live in a fort, in forest groves, or sun-dappled woodlands, where they mingle with the other fae and occasionally help guide wayward travelers and animals, only attacking if they or their home are threatened. To Ecos, nature is sacred, and most of them see themselves as stewards of the natural cycle of birth and death, feast and famine, renewal and decay. Most Ecos are brave in a fight, sometimes recklessly so, and see adventure around every trunk. Although they harbor no love for humans or other creatures that often despoil wilderness in the name of civilization, Ecos do enjoy the company of druids, especially vagabonds with stories of far off places and unusual animals. Ecos cannot speak, but they love the sound that voices can make, and they are happy to offer aid in exchange for stories and songs even bad ones. <laughs> Arboreals tend to be too plodding or methodical to maintain an eco's attention, though the two creatures gladly work together to defend their shared homes from invaders. And you get to know two things about this eco. What would you like to know? Okay, this eco in particular, does it look like it's going to harm this Orpok? No, at all? no, it's benevolent, no. Okay, I, I figured as much. So you could still get you could still get two questions. Sick. I just that was my biggest concern. Uh, bu, 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 bu. I'm trying to think of what questions I want to ask this thing. I'm so sorry. Uh, I should have had this ready to go. Didn't think I was gonna be able to ask questions. Yeah. What do you want to know about it? I think why is it actually like obviously right now it's guarding the forest, but does it look like it's in distress? Like there's something else going on here like does it look like it's mm. looking for more help maybe no 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 okay 
just looks like it was here living. Okay. And I guess, does it look like it's going to attack us, the party? No. No? Okay. Not at all. Cool. Those are my biggest concerns right now. I will, I will, I will tell you that it can speak sign language. Okay. So I will give you that information. Sick. And it will, I will also give you information that this is technically a swarm. Oh. Because it's the swarm of bees Bees. itself that is the. The mind. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Timothy looks to this thing and he waves. And he says, hey. (laughs) And it waves back. All right, and he looks to the others like, this thing's friendly. It's not going to hurt us. And the beaver is going to continue attempting to run away. <laughs> run away! All right. No, Zaba, you can't use no escape. You weren't raging. All right, so. Zaba, you've got that thing handled? Yes! I will. <laughs> <laughs> Just delay. All right. All right, Zaba. So while I can no longer see it as a character, I'm not sure if it's still within the map zone. It is. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, yeah, I'm going to pursue it. Well, let me make sure I've actually got the yeah, movement you can you, you can move right there and still be able to reach it. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Get and this thing. I, reach it, I shall. Come on. No more natural ones. That's a 16 on the die. That's uh, a hit. Yeah. There we can go. Can you deal 14 damage? Indeed. That was uh, 13 can, by the dice itself. That is a I can dead... deal 17 damage to the stupid beaver. The beaver's that is a defeated. Dead beaver. This, cool. my friends, was known as a reaver beaver. Yeah. <laughs> of course it was. This a is name. a reaver beaver. The reaver beaver is... <laughs> Hostile? It didn't have any immunities, weaknesses, or resistances, but it did have a hatred of lumberjacks. <laughs> it gains a plus one status bonus to attack and a plus two to damage against anybody wielding an axe. Oh, oh, that's cute. <laughs> and you just gave us a hatchet right before this fight. <laughs> I did. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, devious. <laughs> I did. All right, but yeah, you well, saw all of its other abilities. The concussive slap, the tail swipe, the knockdown, the acid spit. Yeah, this thing hurt. He <laughs> knocked me down to, like, still level hit points more than once. It's embarrassing wow. for you. Yeah. How this was embarrassing? A level, this was a level five creature. Wow. Damn. Okay. I'm going to pick up whatever remains of this level 5 creature oh, and carry absolutely. its corpse back to the group. Yeah, oh, that, God. That, that, that thing will net you 45 gold in Ooh. monster parts. And I'm going to head over to my friends. And some pretty cool monster parts, too. Ooh. Oh, it's like Saba took care of it. Yeah, so Saba did. Pack, I, so you can leave. I heard a squelch. You should be fine. I hate beaver. Yeah, I know, bud. That beaver sucks. I may be a good guy, but I ruin every beaver home I find. Oh, well, don't I swear. say that around that. A, gr- a grapple. The he the Orpak introduces himself. He's like, oh, okay, thank you. Um, thank you so much. My name is uh, Grapple. I um. I just. What the heck are you guys doing in the Briar Grove? What are you doing in the Briar Grove? Oh, I, me, I, um, honestly, uh, I'm here because several of my family are sick and I can't quite sustain forage enough to sustain them all, but I thought that I could, uh, make enough to support my family through their illness. If I was able to come in here and find those sponge berries, those, you know, Everybody's talking about those. Those are... Yeah, we've heard about those. They sound pretty fancy. Yeah, you know, I... They sell like hotcakes and for good money. So I just, uh... I thought I could, you know, get in here and sell some and be able to help my family. But 
Holy shit, I was underprepared. I... <laughs> you all were much more prepared than I was. And the eco, as soon as he's the uh, grapple, tells a story about his his sick family. You could just hear the bees go, hmm, kind of making the oh buzzing sound. Well, we're on our way to get some berries. If you know you want to stay back a little ways in safety, we'd be happy to give you some on our way out. Oh, really? That 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 would be great. Yeah, I mean, if we don't die. Why yeah, gotta I mean, say that? <laughs> it, it happens. Just, just, just a couple of them would be able to really sustain th- and help out my family for at least a few weeks. That would be, that would be amazing. Yeah. What kind of sickness? This must be really good berries. <laughs> oh, you know, they just they caught a bit of the bit of the fever that's going around. What fever? Just a fever, or just, is it like a magical fever? Like, what's up? There's like five million no, fevers. No, no, it's, it's 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 just just a really contagious bug. Hey, what what, what are you all gonna do with the berries? We're gonna sell them because they're worth a lot of money, and you know everyone likes money. Yeah. Okay. Good. Great. Yeah, that would be that would be great. Yeah. Is there you... something we should not do with the berries? Yeah. Well, I just didn't know what you were going to do with them, you know. It's just like, I just, if you, I just, if you give them, like, if you gave them to the council, you know, they would, um, that would create too much supply, and that would drop the value of the sponge berries, and uh, honestly, that would, would be bad for my family. Yeah. That would be really yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, those guys. We're not huge fans of, you know, the council, so. Yeah. We hear they're pretty annoying. Okay, yeah, that, anyway. Do you know where, I mean, you don't seem to have made it very far. You don't have any tips about which way to go? Well, all I know is that there's a pond over over here to the east, and I haven't gone up to the north. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll, we'll see you, you know, when we get out. Try to stay alive. Yeah, please. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You could stay with this little guy. He seems yeah. to, you know, be helpful. <laughs> Timothy laughs at it. He like, like, <laughs> just looks like he's very happy with this thing around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, where are you headed? Where are we headed? I kind of want to check out the pond a little bit. Just well, to check out the pond. Why do you want to poke over. that? Let's look at the pond. We can just ignore it and not have horrible things happen to us. But what if there's something really good? I will look at it from this distance. I'll be I'll back <laughs> from, you from up. From just like 15 feet away from the pond. I'm just like peering in through the, through the grove and seeing if there's anything significant about the pond. Mom? About the pond itself? Mm, let's see here. Give me a second. I am just trying to fix. Yeah, there we go. All right. So the pond is it's clear still. The water is it's clear as crystal. There's overhanging boughs. And that's what you notice. How? All right. How deep is it? It's not too deep. Probably three, four feet deep. Oh, it's just a big puddle. It's just a big old puddle. It's a big swim puddle. I don't trust like that. I'm backing away from this area. <laughs> <laughs> a puddle of certain doom. Woo. Uh, which way you want to go, boss? I mean, that way looks like a dead end. The map, check that. Does it indicate we go north? All right. I don't know. All right, Zob will start leading the way north. I'll, I'll follow after. Yep. Okay. I'll so, lead up the back. <laughs> you get to a clearing, Zaba. The muddy ground here is wide, damn near circular, and it's scattered with torn bits of animals. 
and patches of dried blood. Oh. A nest of dead branches leans up against the thorny edge to the southeast. And you notice a bird-like creature um, in the nest. Here, let me show it to you. Whoa, whoa! That's a human bird! That's a human bird! It's got human hands! I would describe it as an an ostrich, except for you take the neck away and slap a human head with a beak on it, and instead of long ostrich legs, they just have arms with kind of looks like a scaly pattern on them. Ew, dude! Ew! It's not great. I never thought that seeing a bird with ears would be so unsettling. <laughs> is, this another, is this another Ellie creation? <laughs> no. This is not. I didn't hear Made you right, for and a so moment. I... I heard L.A., like Los Angeles. I'm like, this looks like something that would have come from there, honestly. <laughs> and let me see. What was your, what's your stealth modifier? Uh, I believe it's a plus nine, but let me verify. I hate looking at this fucked up bird. God, this fucked up bird. Uh, plus eight. Would you okay, like yeah, this thing does not, this thing does not notice you. And we will... Start this off next week, folks. Oh boy! Hell yeah. So, I don't like all the about, corpses around this bird. It's not a good sign. So, how about uh, we ask that your party never ends? May your party never end! May your party, party never, never end! End. Never end. Yippee. Yippee. See ya! The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.